Hi everyone, it's Justin. In a video three years ago, I showed you all the shoes that I owned, accumulated over the years. Since that video, I've reduced the quantity and increased the quality of my shoe closet quite drastically. So I want to show you what changed and how I make my decisions, how I curate what I own. I will take you through the entire process, show you what I don't own anymore, what I kept and my new purchases. So it's gonna be a comprehensive video. I must warn you, it's not a fashion blogger video, so to speak. You won't see a custom-made closet full of designer shoes sorted by color. <laughs> I want shoes that I can really wear realistically in my everyday life. And this is meant to be a pragmatic, practical and helpful video for you. First things first, decluttering. That means getting rid of all the shoes that I don't wear or that I don't wear often enough. Because you know, saying, I might wear these, I'm gonna keep them for now. That's not helpful. If I wanted to wear them more often, I would have done so already. And in practice, right now, they're just sitting in my closet. In theory, I could wear them, but I don't. So I eventually got rid of all the shoes I'm gonna mention now, either through selling them or mainly, in my case, donating them. These pointed toe camouflage style heels, very chic, <laughs> they were quite expensive, but they are tight and quite stiff. So I never actually wore them often enough. These blue peep toe heels, very high heels, I should add. <laughs> I haven't worn them in the last two years or so. So they were gone among the first ones. My three color sandals, they were a fun purchase. I had good wear out of them, but eventually I stopped wearing them. So now they're making somebody else happy. My red pointy ballerinas. I love them, but I didn't wear them during the winter because they're summer shoes. And when I started to wear them again this year, I found that they're not comfortable anymore. My feet must have changed or I got unused to them and now they're, they're really painful. <laughs> so I got rid of these as well. My black mid-height heels that go with practically everything, I bought them very cheap. They were not good quality. They were never good quality. I don't enjoy wearing them. They're not special. Marie Kondo would say they don't spark joy, so they're gone. My brown ankle boots, they are good shoes. I just have not worn them a single time in the last 12 months. I feel like they don't fit into the picture anymore, given the kind of style and of clothing that I'm gravitating towards at the moment, if that makes sense. So I won't be missing them. My black ankle boots are gone as well. Don't get me wrong, it's a good shape to have. Black pants with these black shoes elongate the legs quite dramatically. It's very nice looking. The block heel is quite stylish. It's, it's special. I just don't wear these shoes anymore because I have a new pair that works better and that is more comfortable for me. More on that later. But so these ankle boots here are gone too. How did I even accumulate all these shoes, right? <laughs> well, my feet don't grow anymore and I take great care of my shoes and I clean them and everything and I repair them. So technically a pair that I buy now, I can keep forever. But it's not realistic in practice because my taste will evolve over time, my lifestyle. The life I'm leading now is not the life that I was leading 10 years ago. I want to be more comfortable. I am standing on my feet more or less depending on the job that I have, etc. So my shoe wardrobe has to kind of evolve just like my clothing wardrobe does. However, I did not want to just maintain a constant amount of, of pairs of shoes. I really wanted to actively downsize. That's why I went for that process. Moving on to the shoes that I have used up literally or almost used up and that are soon gonna die. <laughs> the first one is my platform sandals with the brown ankle strap. These were super comfortable, but the insole was soft. That's why they were comfortable. But my weight has curved the insole <laughs> downwards. So they're not as comfy as they used to be and I can't wear them 10 hours straight anymore. So it's starting to be an issue, even though I love them. My black leather ballerinas, they have been very loyal to me. I've scratched them everywhere. <laughs> I've fixed them multiple times and kind of took care of the leather with black wax to try to rejuvenate them and make them look good again. By now, I'm like almost through the leather where the toes push. 
I'm close to having a hole. <laughs> we are approaching the, the end. My white Karen Millen sandals, they are the best summer sandals, super comfortable, but they're not leather. So the white is starting to turn yellow. This, the strap on top is starting to crack. I've glued it back into place several times. I think they're gonna do this season and finish this summer, but then they'll have to go as well. And then my winter boots. I wore them seven or eight winters straight every day because the way I do it when it's cold outside here in Northern Europe, <laughs> I wear them outdoor and I change into more presentable shoes when I go to a place indoor. So I wear these boots literally every day throughout the winter. I wore them so much that the seams were not waterproof anymore. And when I stepped into the snow or walked in the rain, they would soak it up. They're done out to be replaced next winter. But if you have boots like this, as long as the seams are still holding, you can absolutely expand their lifetime by washing them inside with shampoo, no matter whether it's real hairs or acrylic hairs. And you can re-waterproof the upper layer with a spray that you buy in a shoe store. If you want more tips on how to take care of your shoe wear and how to wash and care for different materials used to make shoes, I did a video dedicated to that topic. It's linked here and down below as well. In total, that's already 11 pairs that are gone or will be gone soon. Now come three more pairs where I'm not sure yet. I'm giving them a second chance before I decide what happens to them. First, my white hipster platform flats. <laughs> I like them. They're comfortable. They just don't go with all the clothes that I own, only some things, which makes them a bit hard to combine, but I'm giving them another try. Then my colorful sandals with platforms, Spanish style. I love the color, but I have new wedges that are so much better in quality that now when I wear the colorful ones, I'm like, actually the arch is not good. My foot is not being supported properly. I need to think about it. And then they are my metallic flats with an ankle strap. I feel like the new wedges that I'm going to show in a minute also made these redundant. So we'll see. Moving on to the shoes that I'm absolutely keeping. <laughs> First, my black gray sandals with an ankle strap. They're very chic, they're comfortable. I had the heels fixed because they were used up. Now they're good for another round. My high heels. Um, I have a friend who calls them my Barbie heels. They're very high. They are the last pair of very high heels that I own. But first, they elongate the legs so nicely. And second, the color is super smart. They go with pretty much everything. So they're staying for now, for sure. My golden espadrilles, super comfortable, perfect for summer. They're like house shoes. My dark blue stiletto sandals are amazing for weddings and you can really dance all night in them. It looks like the straps everywhere might hurt the feet, but they do not hurt at all. I do not get blisters from them and God knows I get blisters easily. Um, they're super well designed, really. My platform neon sandals, I love them. They are by a Turkish designer named Nursace. I don't know if they're available outside of Turkey. I bought them in a shop in Turkey. They're arty, they're fun, they're very special, staying as well. My men's shoes, as I call them, they're by Paraboot. It's a French heritage brand, good quality. They will probably last another three decades. My colorful sneakers, still there. It's fabric and suede, so it's not super easy to take care of. I machine wash them sometimes with a little bit of detergent. It's not great for the suede, but the fabric comes out really clean, so they still look good. My classic Reebok black sneakers, 80s style. <laughs> the sole is losing its relief. This is how much I've already walked in them, but they're just, it's like wearing house shoes as well. They're so comfortable. They're at least six or seven years old, still going strong, no problem. My combat boots from Portugal, they're so super resistant. The only thing that I ever do to them is waterproof spray them once every fall. That's it. And my Peter Pan boots. Peter Pan is not the brand, <laughs> it's just a nickname. You know, I've had these boots, I think for close to 15 years, they're suede. So I knew that they were always going to be sensitive and fragile. Turns out I took great care of them and they still look amazing. I just can't 
find them. I must have left them somewhere in a hotel or I don't remember where or when and nobody told me. They're gone. At this point, I feel like we need an overview of what I kept. Less quantity, which is good. Less color. It's okay for now because most of my shoes now fit most of my clothes and as a whole it's easier to create outfits, but we still need to add a bit of color back in for me to be really happy. Next step, define and then find what's missing for the collection to be complete again. First, colorful flats. Instead of the three color sandals and the red flats, I went for a multi-color pair of flats by a very small Spanish brand called Matilda. The next hard thing to find was a pair of black heels that I can wear every day, but that are very special and have character and super high quality. So instead of my mid-height basic heels that weren't sparking joy and my black ankle boots, I got a pair by the French brand Clergerie, which is fabulous. It looks amazing. I feel like I'm the only one who has them and they get me so many compliments. I was looking for years for a pair of black flat boots or wedged boots that would be as comfortable as flats. I found these by C by Chloe, which is the diffusion line of French brand Chloe. They are super comfortable and they also elongate the legs very nicely. So that's another pair that replaces the black ankle boots. Summer wedges instead of the black platform sandals that are dying and the colorful Spanish looking ones, which are not as comfortable as I thought. I found great quality ones by Castanier. They are metallic. The insole is a proper insole, so the foot is much better supported and it's better for the arch. I'm still missing white sneakers. I feel it's good to have at least a pair of black ones and a pair of white ones. I have the black ones. Still looking for a good pair of white ones. And last but not least, or I should say coming up soon on my wish list, a new pair of black ballerinas. So within the last three years, I bought four pairs of shoes. Not bad. And more importantly, everything that I bought was exactly what I was looking for. And every purchase was planned and thought through, which is a great feeling. I feel like I went from a shoe mess grown organically <laughs> over time to something that looks really more curated. Thumbs up if you agree. Now I have a question for you actually. If you look at your own shoe collection, at your shoe shelf, how many pairs have not been worn in the last six or 12 months? Either give me the amount of pairs of shoes or even better would be a percentage of everything you own. I'm curious. <laughs> I know that many of you will probably ask and wonder where to find some of the shoes that I've shown in this video. The old ones, frankly, can't be found anymore. I will link my newer purchases in the description if I find the links, but some of them are already one or two years old. <laughs> and for older ones, you can find similar things um, on the website that I will link also in the video description down below. They have a good filter function and a great super wide assortment of brands. So you can just type in the description of the shoes you're looking for and it's very likely that you'll find something similar to what I've been showing you. And if you want to take advantage of the summer sale for purchase that you were planning on making, they have a summer sale right now. So have a look. Take care and see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and you want to be notified when the next video is out. Bye.